Hi guys, this is Char Star here with Nyanda. And this is Nyanda with Char Star. Right here on Reggae Entertainment Lifestyle. Welcome, how have you been? Oh, thanks girl, I've been good, I've been good. Cannot complain. I see, I see. For those who don't know, Nyanda was a part of the Brick and Lace group back in the early 2000s where they took <laughs> North America, the Caribbean, the world. And Africa. And Africa yes. on this big old tour, okay? Mm, they, mm. They, they hit the scenes with um, Love is Wicked. You guys were signed with um, Convic at the mm -hmm. time. Yes. Tell me about that experience. Oh I mean, gosh. two beautiful little girls from the Caribbean and just, come oh on, let us know. <laughs> two sisters. You know, let me tell you, I have to tell you, it was three sisters at first. Uh -huh. It was me, my sister Nyla, and my sister Tasha, the big sister. And, um, you know, my big sister went solo. She moved to Canada. And then Nyla and I were left in the group alone. And we were like, can we do it without the third member? Like the Brick and Lace real, real hardcore fans, the day ones, know that it was three of us initially. Right. So then it was me and Nyla. And yes, we got signed to Convict. And it was just a whirlwind. Yeah. Just like what you said, it was just madness. It was, <laughs> ooh, ooh, Love is Wicked. Love is Wicked wasn't the first song right. that we released. Tell us way. about the first song that you released. Um, the fr oh my gosh, well, I think we really paid our dues. We were just like sisters, you know, living in Jamaica, Sharon Burke. Big up Sharon. Sharon was the first Big up um, Sharon. Man oh my God, she's a legend in Jamaica, of course. Living legend. Totally, yeah. Big <laughs> up Sharon. She was the first manager who, you know, really made us th made us know that we, that we could even do this actually as a career. Internationally so, too. Exactly. We yeah. didn't know. Our mom yeah. was the first one, but we were singing in church. Our mom made us singing in church and then it was Sharon who really made us take it to the next level right. at that stage right but it's so beautiful to see that you grew up in that music environment and yeah. and um, also have experience doing background vocals for like Marcia Griffiths mm -hmm. um, Lauren Hill, Barris Hammond. I like what you just said, Lauren Hill. Like, yes, Marcia Griffiths, Lauren Hill, Barris yes. Hammond, totally. Yes. What was that experience working with those living legends? I mean, they're iconic. Talk about Barris and Marcia and Lauren. Like, how was that? Even to this day, like, I see them and I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like, of course, they are iconic. They are legends. And I think this was just like a part of our schooling. I do think when you are an artist, and you come in the game, you know what I mean? You have to pay your dues, you know? And right. I just couldn't think of any better dues to pay than singing background for such legends. But it's like a schooling. It's, you right. know what I mean? There's like people go to school to get their degree. I think right. background singing, you know. Pave your way for totally, where you are now. Yeah, it puts you on a yeah. stage. So Nyanda, outside of singing, solo and with the group you are also a writer you and your sister mm -hmm. you guys have a, a publishing deal and you've written for um big stars like j-lo christina can you tell us about that oh my gosh how did that start at the time we were living in miami we were like going to school miami day i went right. to um for a year and then we were still just trying to do the studio and um one day chris bentley met up with us and he took us to the studio we met with tricky stewart okay. and dallas austin dallas, and then yes. we were singing for them but we were singing original songs and they right. were like hold on you guys are writing these songs <laughs> and we were like yeah. yeah and then he was like sing another one right and he was like sing another one and we just kept singing and he's like okay no i'm signing you guys so yeah. now you've actually departed from Brick and Lace yes. and started a solo career. Yes. And you dropped that <laughs> single called Trouble, causing oh, mayhem in the place. Yes. <laughs> our African fans who were in Europe that right. fueled all our this success in France, absolutely. in Germany, in, you know what I mean, all those places. So um, you, we, we just were, I have just been in love with Afrobeats. I'm seeing it exploding on the scene now. Oh, and yeah. people think like it's a new thing and it's like, no. It's always been there, yeah. Y'all are late. Y'all are just <laughs> catching up to the game. Like Brick and Lace, you know, yeah. we've been, you know, receiving so much love in Africa, so. Well, that's it, folks, here on Reggae Entertainment Lifestyle. I am your host, Char Star, here with... Nyanda, and I am here with the beautiful Char Star. Where we always keep it <laughs> real. real.